and we need to no lele paiku. Welcome to part two of our lesson on Nanticoke body parts. Today we'll begin with a quick review of the pronoun prefixes for inalienably possessed nouns and the suffixes for pluralizing inanimate nouns. Then we'll move on to the paradigms, the affixes for pluralizing inclusive and in exclusive forms of we. And then we'll go on to pluralization for you all and they. To review from last time, we went over the person prefixes n or n for first person, my, a k or k for second person, your, a w or w for third person, their, an m or m for an indefinite possessor used when the person possessing the body part is not specified. Last time we also went over pluralization for inanimate nouns for which you add the suffix s or us. The documentation of Nanticoke is regrettably quite sparse. Therefore, we have to turn to other Algonquian languages when we want to reconstruct various grammar paradigms. For the independent forms of we, we have the exclusive form nilon and the inclusive form kilon. Nilon is used when the speaker and another person, but not the listener, is included, whereas kilon includes the listener. And for the affixes, we have for the exclusive form, we have n or n, the noun, and inanus. For the inclusive form, we have a prefix k or k, the noun, and inanus. You can also use the suffix inans if you prefer. Let's begin with a few examples. Here we have kalentananas, our hands. And this is the inclusive form. This is comprised of the pronoun represented by K for second person, meaning you. We have the word for hand, alents. We have a, which is a vowel. This is a transitional sound inserted to make it easier to pronounce. Nan, this represents our and us, the inanimate plural suffix. For the exclusive form, you simply switch the K for an N, nilentananas, our hands. This means the speaker and another person, but not the listener, are included. Kihkatananas, that means our legs. This is the inclusive form, meaning both the speaker and the listener are included. Note here you can also pronounce this kihkatananas. I've selected this pronunciation because of its similarity with Muncie, for which we have ample records. How would you say our legs using the exclusive form, meaning the speaker and another person, but not the listener? The answer is nukkatdenanas, our legs, nukkatdenanas. Here's another example of the exclusive form. Nilahamen and anas, our heads. Nilahamen and anas. How would you change this to say our heads in the inclusive form? The answer is kilahamen and anas. Kilahamen and anas. Now we move on to the second and third person plural forms. Again, these are reconstructions based upon patterns found in other Algonquian languages. For the independent form of you all, we have kilal. And then, to, for the affixes for nouns, we begin with the second person, k or k, the noun, and awawas. For third person plural, there, we have the independent form, nekamal. When affixing to a noun, we have wa, the noun, and ewawas. Here are some examples. For your arms, we have kihpitin ewawas. Kihpitin ewawas. Note again that in the singular, arm is, your arm is kihpit. And then in plural form, you add in to it. For kihpitin ewawas. How would you say their arms? The answer is Wihbitin Ewawas. Here's another example. 
for their necks, you would say, Wasikipakwewawas. Wasikipakwewawas. How would you say your necks? The answer is Kasikipakwewawas. Kasikipakwewawas. William for watching La Pichkanawashmo.